nervous? Because I, mean, I haven't been to a coffee shop since I was a little girl. At least you've been to a coffee shop. I've never been to one. Do you see their bumper stickers? Check them out. So far away. Okay. Check that out. Now people, people, don't just drink your coffee today. Let it fill you. Let it inspire you. Try an Americana, a mocha latte, even a cappuccino with its rich and satisfying body. Now I want to remind everyone, don't forget our goal of converting 500 people to coffee. Remember, bring your non-coffee drinking friends with you. Drag them here if you have to. Buy them a scone even, just get them here. Because remember, Coffee is good all the time. All the time. We feel we're the coffee best kept good. secret in coffee shops. Last year alone, we had 75 new coffee drinkers, 75 new customers. We're not like those guys down the street that water their product down. We serve nothing but 100% pure coffee. Coffee is so important in everyday life, it's more important than air. Hey, how are you doing? What can I get for you today? Uh, I think I just want some coffee. You've never been here before, have you? No. Um, excuse me. If this is your first time visiting with us, would you go ahead and raise your hands? We would love to welcome you. Raise your nice and high. Javaluya. We would love to get some information about you so we can follow up with you. If you could go ahead and fill those out, we'll be able to get things started. Oh, and when you bring those back to us, we'll have a special gift just for you. We just wanted some coffee. Uh, you can just go ahead and sit right over there to fill those out. That'd be great. Thank you. What could they possibly want all this information? You know, some people go skydiving. I serve people coffee. It's a rush. I love it. I put my heart and soul into that coffee. And there's nothing like seeing somebody take a sip of coffee for the first time in their life. We get a lot of visitors coming through. Not always do they come back, but deep down inside, I know a bean's been planted. Some people just can't take the real stuff. Thank you, Barista Mark. It's so good to see everyone at the International Anointed First Starbucks of the Northern Valley. And I want to draw our attention to the tip jar. This is real important. I want to share with you something that happened to me when I was just a new coffee drinker right out of college. I learned that I could combine giving to my barista with my coffee, and this is the result. I found out that when I gave, my coffee came back to me, pressed down, shaken together, and running out all over. And I was a changed man. It's because the word joy, J-O-Y, means Java, others, and you. And when you include the you know, others... I've been thinking about National Coffee Day. National Coffee Day is coming up, you know. And it's always a big day for us, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send out a direct mailer. And I'm sure our attendance is gonna more than double and it's gonna change everything. And then in two weeks, we're gonna be serving coffee Great. to the Thank homeless. You. And you're not gonna wanna miss that. Care. What can I get you today? I think I just want some coffee. Okay. That'll be $3.98. Hi. Oh, hey, what did you wanna drink? Nothing. Um, I couldn't find the restroom anywhere. Let's, let's just get out of here. And there you are, sir. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. Your special gift for being a first time visitor. Thank you. May your day be filled with coffee. So, so we'll see you next week, right? Yeah. All right. 